Welcome to Growing Faith Resources. I'm Katie, a certified Christian educator, and I'm here to help you figure out what's gonna work best for your congregation. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Multi-Age Children's Leader's Guide from Follow Me, Biblical Practices for Faithful Living. So let's check it out. Before we dive into the Multi-Age Children's Leader's Guide, I want to talk about Follow Me, Biblical Practices for Faithful Living. It's a curriculum that is practice-based. Uh, there are 36 different practices that you can choose from, and practices are things that Jesus either did or taught or told us to do, and we find them all over the place in the Bible. So we study them and try them out. So this curriculum actually has something for every single age level, for everyone in your congregation, and it's an opportunity for you all to immerse yourselves in a particular practice. So if you'd like to learn more about this curriculum as a whole, I would encourage you to check out some of our other videos on this channel, which I'll try to link in the description below. But now let's talk about the Multi-Age Children's Leader's Guide. The Multi-Age Children's Leader's Guide um, is for ages six to 10. And in it, there's some really helpful information for the leader, including follow me overview, unit overview, practicing the practice at home, detailed session plans, and a foundational essay. So let's take a look at each of these pieces in turn. We'll start with the Follow Me overview. So this is just sort of a page that summarizes what Follow Me the curriculum is. And so this is really helpful to read if this is your first time using the curriculum or if you just need a refresher on how Follow Me works. The second page is actually really helpful information that the leader is going to find useful throughout their time using this particular session um, plan book. So you're going to note that there are activity symbols, and these are going to be next to each activity, but here there is a key telling you what each activity symbol stands for, so that you can kind of look at these session plans at a glance, know what category of activity that you're choosing is in, and then make the choice that's going to be best for your group. We also include some helpful uh, sections on supplies that you may need um, using flyaway picture books and also accommodating all children. Now we do provide accommodations and different adaptations throughout the curriculum in the session plans as the activity calls for it, but you still may have some children occasionally who need more specialized adaptations. And so this section just gives you a quick note about ideas and how to go about um, adapting the particular activity that you're doing so that all of your children are able to actively participate in the session. Next up, you're going to find the unit overview. And this is where you learn all about the particular practice that you are studying. So where is this, what is this practice and where is it found in the Bible? And how do the multi-age children that I'm working with really understand this practice or connect with it? And the final section you'll see in this front matter is practicing the practice at home. And this is a two-sided sheet that you can send home to your families, and it includes different ways for families to engage in this practice at home. Some of these things are really easy, like the discussion starters. Those are just wondering questions for the families so that they can think about this practice and ask themselves, how, do, how does our family do this practice? And then there's also different activities. And some of these activities are really simple, and others are a bit more involved. So you may have something simple like, let's look at different memories that we have from our baptism. Maybe we have pictures at home, or maybe we still have the clothing that, that you wore. Um, and let's talk about your baptism. Or it may be something more involved, like maybe you're going to go to an orchard and go gleaning, or maybe you're going to um, gather up some canned goods as a family and donate them to a local pantry. It just kind of depends on what the practice is about and there's a range of different activities for your families to choose from. Um, you can also find this practicing the practice at home in the congregational guide. And if you'd like to learn more about the congregational guide and what it offers, I'll try to link a video uh, in the description below. So let's talk about the session overview. This page has great information about the session for the leader. 
There is a goal, a prayer, activity symbols, and there's also a great section on session preparation. So these are the things that you need to do before you start the session. Uh, if there's anything extra that you might need to do, it'll be in that section. So as we get into the session flow, um, let's talk about some of the extras that are in within the actual session flow itself. So you'll notice that there are supplies listed in the sidebar of this curriculum. And so this lets you know activity by activity what supplies you need. So if you decide to use a particular activity, you know exactly what's, which supplies you need. And if you decide not to do a specific activity, you know which supplies you don't have to worry about. So there's also asterisks in here, and those are different teaching tips. So you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention to those when they show up in the curriculum. They're gonna give you helpful information about adapting different activities for different skills or age levels or different disabilities. You're gonna find best practices in here and just other great helpful suggestions as you're going through different activities for your leader. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to watch out for those. Now, let's get into the actual flow of each session. So you start, obviously, at the beginning with getting started. This section is your gathering time, and it may include an opening ritual. And so this is something you will do the same for the entire duration of your practice. And then it'll change when you go to a new practice. The second section is introducing the practice. And this is just kind of what the practice is and what do we do with it? What is it? How do we do it? What's it for? That kind of thing. Then next up is finding the practice in the Bible. So this is your Bible study. This is where does this practice show up in the Bible and how does it inform or instruct the way we understand this practice. Then we are going to find the practice all around us. So where do we see people using this practice? In our homes, in our churches, in our neighborhoods, in our world, where do we see it? Then we get to practice the practice. And this is the part where we actually get to try it out, to try it on, almost like a piece of clothing. And we get to do it together as a group. The final section is following Jesus. And this is our blessing and sending out into the world because it shouldn't be about just learning about this practice. It should be about taking that practice that you've learned out into the real world. The final thing you'll notice uh, in each session plan is resource pages. So if a session needs a particular resource page, it'll have it. Um, there's only as many as the session needs. So each session could have a different number of them. And these pages can be in color or they can be in black and white. And you can make copies of these or send them to your participants electronically. And there may be things like posters or worksheets or maps, game boards, puppets, just anything you can think of, that's what they'll contain. Sometimes multi-age children will have an adapted Bible story during these sessions, but most of the time they'll actually read straight from the Bible. But there may be a time where either the passage was really, really long or we're using multiple passages that we're kind of threading together and that adapted Bible story will be there as a great resource for you to use during your session. The final piece in the Multi-Age Children's Leader's Guide is the foundational essay. This was written by a biblical scholar and it just goes into a lot more detail about the specific practice you are studying with this unit. So you're gonna find information like, what is this practice? What's it about? What are the different aspects or dimensions that we're studying? Where is it found in the Bible? All of that great meat that you might find useful or for not only your own personal reflection as a leader, but just to help you feel more confident as you talk about this practice with the children that you're leading. So this concludes our information on the Multi-Age Children's Leader's Guide. If you'd like to learn more about this curriculum, uh, you can visit our website at www.pcusastore.com slash follow me curriculum. And there you can actually download the sampler, which gives you an inside look, uh, not only at this Multi-Age Children's Leader's Guide, but many other pieces of the curriculum as well. And you can learn so much more there by um, looking at other things and exploring the website further. We also have other great videos on this channel that talk about different parts of the Follow Me curriculum. So I wanna say thank you for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so that you know when we post new videos either about Follow Me or other great resources for your congregation. So thank you again for watching and God be with you.